So we're we'll moving to the next type of penicillin. This is what is known as what the procaine P. Now, procaine P, the P there simply means what? Penicillin. You understand? So procaine P, procaine penicillin. So for this one, um, it has a brand name. That's what is known as a four pro. Right? So proca procaine P is also known as what? Penicillin G procaine. All right, okay. It's like a combination of what penicillin G. All right, particularly they use penicillin G for there, and the local anesthetic procaine that we use in Anastasia, general Anastasia. So it's designed for what um, intramuscular administration because you want to treat bacterial infections. Okay, and you are giving, you are combining it with an anesthetic because you want to actually reduce the pain. Do you understand? So it's like a combination therapy. So, um, what is the mechanism of action? The procaine there will basically what inhibit cell growth. Why the no 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 the penicillin there will inhibit cell growth. Why the procaine will inhibit pain? Do you understand? Okay. So they will inhibit cell growth. So the bacteria will grow with a deformed cell wall. So therefore, it will not be protected from any attacks that could come up. You get so spectrum of activities it is mostly effective against gram positive that's a streptococcus species of bacteria infections caused by the streptococcus it has limited action against gram negative bacteria as well all right so therapeutic uses is used in treating what generally now you can say what streptococcal infections right so we're mostly talking about syphilis the troponemal infections all right rheumatic fever in patients that have a history of streptococcal infection so that means the patient previously had a streptococcal infection so you are treating it because what well, you don't want it to progress to rheumatic fever you understand they're treating mild to moderate infections caused by susceptible what uh, organisms like what respiratory tract infections right so pharmacokinetics is usually given intramuscular that's directly into the muscles not intravenous not into the veins okay absorption is absorbed slowly from the injection site providing what sustained what therapeutic levels now duration is therapeutic levels can last for about 12 to 24 hours okay depending on the dose excretion is primarily eliminated through the kidneys so have some adverse effect anaphylaxis that's your body actually reacting to the drug look how pain and discomfort at the injection site rarely you have gastrointestinal disturbances or neurovascular complications okay so guys that's it for the procaine penicillin penicillin g procaine okay